What's poppin' pumpkins? Hey, it is Sunday morning. Yay for me. And I got something to show y'all. Remember when I used to do all my videos with a scarf on my head? I just didn't go fuck. Still don't give up. So, I got a box. I got a package that I was sent from Curl Collection. Hey, Naja girl, hey! I was sent this box to open to view the box. Um, so those of y'all who don't know, because at this point, opening this is a little redundant, because every bitch on YouTube has done an unboxing of these products, and if you haven't seen one, I don't know where the fuck you been. But Curl Collection is a Curly Girl subscription for bitches with curls. It's a bi-monthly box of full-size products. Yeah. Child, there's a whole bunch of shit that goes with it. She's got an e-magazine. She's got a swap forum. She's got um, weed. Okay, maybe not weed. But she's got some shit. So before I like jack up with everything that's in the Carl Collection so that you have an accurate description of what is in it and how you can find out more about it, I'm gonna need you to click the video and that will link you directly to her channel and let you know what Curl Collection is all about. I trying to describe this right off the hip, because y'all know this ain't rehearsed, is a hot ass mess. So I ain't even gonna do the sister like that. All right, let's open this bitch. And you can only do it with the most ratchet, raggedy ass scissors you got in your house. I wouldn't make it one day in jail with these fucking scissors. Oh, Cur you say Curly Kids. So this box is pink and it says Curly Kids. Now see this, it's a really nice box. Oh, she a little torn. She a little rugged. She done been through some things. I don't know if that's the box that constitutes for the state of the box on my hood ass post office. They hood as shit over there. But the box is pink this month for the breast cancer awareness. Be aware. I'll tell you everybody named mama and open this box. Thanks a lot, T. Andre Mel. A bitch can be on own. I will say this box is a smaller than what I thought. I always thought that everybody else, well maybe, maybe it's just special for this box, I don't fucking know. I always thought that everybody else's boxes was like these big ass gift boxes. That's what it looked like when I watch other people's shit. And I got another question. So I was made aware that um, the Curl Collection boxes usually come in the middle of the month. I thought they came, I thought they were supposed to come at the beginning of the month. Now this ain't no shade because I, you know, we didn't get in contact until the middle of the month. So when else was she supposed to send me this shit? But I thought that usually they come at the beginning of the month, but I was informed that they come in the middle of the month. I missed it. I mean, I would think if something is indicative of that month that it would start the month off with that product, i.e. October's curl box you get at the beginning of October. It's like if you had a subscription for Essence Magazine and you got November's Magazine November 13th, you'd be like, what the fuck? But it's hair products. I guess it ain't that goddamn serious. So let's open this bitch. Woo -hoo. Woo. I can't even act surprised. I haven't seen everybody else's video on the shit. I do like these boxes. Mel, if you still got a bunch of you don't want yours, I'll take them. What I got? Hair tea conditioner. Heat activated deep conditioning treatment. Now, this is from the curl series. I tried something it is a while ago. It was like in my sister's closet it was like she got like a curly hair stash and i tried it and the shit sucked whatever it was it was clear it was goopy i don't know what the fuck it was it was in a bottle it was curls and i didn't like it i ain't gonna say that's indicative of all their products but i remember that one if you think you know what it is put it in the comments or some shit these all got steps on them hold on this is step two well this is another condition this is the coconut sublime super hydrating instant rinse off conditioner but shit this step two too Here's step four. Bitch, I'm missing two steps. What kind of shit? What happened to one and three? What the fuck? Maybe, maybe I'm not on my shit. This is the whipped cream. Heavy curl cream without hold. What the, what the fuck does that mean? So in all these products, there are no sulfates, silicones, parabens, minimal oil. Minimal. <laughs> Mineral or petroleum oils. Okay, so this is ideal for thick, kinky, dry curls. My shit is dry and it's kinky, but it ain't good. But they got day one and day two instructions on this bitch. All right, let's open this sucker. Shut up. I love the way this smells. It, sm it smells like food. It smells like 
This is gonna sound so cliche. It smells like fresh whipped cream. Ooh, and it feels like whipped cream. Ooh, all right, all right. Y'all see it? I'm excited. I hope it worked, cause it feel great. Oh, I got some product reviews coming for y'all. I tried my damnness to do some product reviews. Let me tell you something. If you want bitches with good lighting, ingredients, knowledge, and editing, and voiceovers, I'm not the bitch to watch. Cause honey, I'll show you how we do reviews in the Bronx. Coconut Sublime Conditioner. I still got the, <laughs> hold on. Oh, I smell myself. <laughs> Damn. This seems to be thicker than the whipped cream. Okay. It's not strong in fragrance, which I appreciate. How does shit work? It works great as midweek conditioner. Dear no one, this is your love song. All right, we got some hair tea conditioner. I'm nervous about things that say they have their hair teas. I always think they're gonna dry. i not like I used one before. Apply an ample amount of curl ecstasy. Is that what this is called? Oh shit! Oh, Najee, you're an idiot. Sure is called hair ecstasy, a curl ecstasy. Heat activated deep conditioning treatment. I like the packaging. Exotic Asian extracts. All right, here's the deal. People like Naja are fairly intelligent in random fields that other people would have no idea what I'm talking about or where I'm going. But as far as these motherfucking ingredients are concerned, I have no idea. I can't pronounce half this shit. No shade. Now I know some people believe like if you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't put it in your hair. That's true talk. But if somebody gave you the actual Latin name for an aloe plant, you probably wouldn't put that shit in your hair anymore because you wouldn't know what it was. I don't know what half this shit is. And I see the word certified organic on every fucking thing. I still don't know what it is. Certified organic what? What the fuck is a certified organic polygonanum multiform leaf extract? I don't know what the fuck that is. But if somebody out there wants to do a video on ingredients, I'm about that. Maybe I'll do the video. I'm, no, I won't. That's a lie. That's a lie. I won't. I'm gonna come out with my own product line. Now, what you put it in the box? It's gonna be called Simple Shit. No, it's gonna be called Dat Shit. The whole line's gonna be called Dat Shit. I'm gonna come out with something called Conditioner and Shit, Moisturizer and Shit, Leave-In and Shit, Shit to Wash Your Hair With, for ignorant folk like me, cause honey, I can't, and the ingredients will be in layman's term. But we don't need no, all this extra, it'd be certified aloe or something. I don't have any complaints. I got a box full of great things. I got a really pretty box full of great things. I'm just confused about the shipment dates. And please click the box, click the box. Yeah, click the box then nigga, click the box so you can get all the appropriate information about Curl Collection because we know mother will fuck some shit up. Child, I was going off about a product the other day. I was like, what kind of shit is this with all these alcohols in it? Didn't even know they was good alcohols. I don't, Child want. Have a blessed day. Yeah, I did that. What? Bitch, don't act like you don't scratch your head like that. All right, Bye bye bye